was going to bring those posters into them and tell them exactly where they could find you. Larry Joyce. Aren't you the great man? Fooling the doctors, fooling the guards, fooling the insurance people. But the biggest fool of the whole lot of them is standing right here in front of you. Now, I've got to clean up before Michael gets back. Then go shopping. Get some things for your journey. You'll be needing cash, too. Oh, Rose. No, no, it's good. You were right. You should go. It's, it's, it's too much. At least this way. This way you really will be gone. And good riddance. Here it comes. I love it. You do? Of course she does, huh? And there's my right hand man. Isn't that right, Roy? Huh? There's just one thing. What's that, love? Why is my doggy blue? <laughs> More do you want to... <clears throat> sure, the door's open. Are you doing yourself up for that, fella? You're a very beautiful young woman. Thank you, Mrs. O'Brien. You don't need all that makeup. <laughs> We're very lucky to be so pretty. You could have the pick of any man in Ireland. <laughs> I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. No, no, I mean it. Any man. Well, I'm lucky enough to have already met the man of my dreams. But have you? Sorry, Mrs. O'Brien. What do you mean by that? I just mean that you don't know John very well at all. I've known him since he was a baby do a lot better for yourself. I'm very happy with John. I don't know how you could say such a thing. Listen, Nanny, I'm just giving you some advice woman to woman. I know what I'm talking about. So look what happened to me. Take my advice. You'll make a better life. I'm hitting them slot machines big time after mass. Bernie, you might want to throw on the TV while I pop to the loo. Easy. I'm sure Mrs. Lacey would like some too. Thanks, Francis. Do you look stupid? What are you talking about? They look great. Very handsome. Want the blue ones, Mark? Ah, you're too fat for the blue ones, love. We'll take these ones. Lily, this is Maura from the HSC. Hello, Lily. My name's Maura, and I'm a social worker with the HSC. And your friend Brenda here has been telling me about what's been going on. Now, Lily, I'd like to hear from yourself a wee bit about what's been happening. Well, it's my son, you see. Mm -hmm. He's got very handy at helping himself to my money from my bag. I don't have very much, you know, I only have the pension. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get me to sign over the house to him. And I, I don't understand what that might mean for me, do you know? Mm -hmm. I don't understand anything about legal, legal things at all. And then he brought a friend over. Mm -hmm. The two of them roaring drunk. Okay. <laughs> and the friend <sighs> okay. hurt me. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to try and make sure that that doesn't happen again. And you're very lucky your friend Brenda's here today, too. Mm -hmm. Well, what would you like to see happening, will I? Well, I don't want to go into a home. No. I want to have my son here. Mm -hmm. I just wish he'd stop his carry on. Mm -hmm. Of course you do, and that's very understandable. And we can help you. We can arrange a meeting for yourself and Sean. And if there's somebody else that you'd like to be here with you. I'd like Brenda to be there. OK, well, that's fine. I could do with some help keeping the house clean, you know, and myself clean. I don't like to ask Sean. Right. 
Well, we can arrange for someone to come over to the house and help you. And if there's anything else that you need. Oh, oh. oh that'd be great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.